you want me to start? Hey, what's up, super simps, and welcome back to another episode of Baking with Ben. Today we're making holographic chocolate. Oh, I forgot to clap for the audio. Who's a super simp? Are you talking about yourself? Because you simp for me? You simp for simply! So in the past few months, we've seen some food science channels on YouTube make this stuff called holographic chocolate. And today we're gonna ask the question... Is it real, huh? <laughs> oh, is that not the question? Yeah, no, that's good, that's good. <laughs> Basically, you have a holographic film. Here you go, sir. Oh, thank you. Pull it. It's like a firecracker, ready? There's hollow inside! <laughs> if this looks familiar, it's because I used it when I made my sunglasses where I could see everything in hollow. <laughs> it's hollow, bro! Yeah, 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 for your Logan Paul glasses. So basically, this is, uh, what do they call it? Diffraction paper, I think? Hollow paper. So essentially how this works is there's a bunch of tiny little lines in it. Like and linear hollow. As the light passes through the lines, it you see magic. diffracts the light into, like if it's a white light, it diffracts it into the spectrum of the rainbow, for example. Rainbows, yeah. But if you pour chocolate over it, it acts like a mold. If your chocolate is crystallized in the right way, the chocolate sort of develops the same pattern that the film has that makes it reflect rainbows. So you end up with chocolate that reflects rainbows, reflects light the same way this sheet does. So it's kind of like you're stamping the chocolate with the hollow. Yeah, but nothing is transferring from the sheet. Well, like you're not just putting plastic. Well, no, you're sh it's like a mold. The hollow is transferring. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's a few ways of doing this and it kind of depends on the type of chocolate you are using. The first easiest test is to use something called compound chocolate because compound chocolate isn't really chocolate at all. It doesn't have cocoa butter what? in it. It's like dollar store or bulk barn oh, chocolate. You know what I mean? Like it Easter egg candy chocolate. Yeah, you know yeah. when you taste like really not great chocolate and it feels weird in your mouth? So that's our first experiment. Hey, you pick. With compound chocolate. You pick me. <laughs> this is the easy way of doing this. We're just gonna melt this in the microwave. Okay, I know how to do that, but I'll <laughs> let you do that. Stir it. Mm -hmm. It's not wet enough. Barely did anything. <laughs> what, what are you doing? <laughs> Ew. You made a poop. <laughs> this is a kid's channel now. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Look at my little elf. Wow. Actually, didn't you tell me when you were a kid you ate a bowl of chocolate chips once? No, I had a bag of chocolate chips. <laughs> and then I threw up in my aunt and uncle's car on the way home. When I was a child, I ate a brown crayon because I thought it was chocolate and then I threw up. But well, why'd you eat it once you tasted it and realized it wasn't chocolate? I'd committed. <laughs> then! Which way? One side is shiny. Wait, what do you mean? Are they, are they different on Yes, side? one side is shiny and one side is more dull. It's like a nail foil. Pretty sure it's the same. All right, so we don't need too much. We want to smooth it out, get into the grooves of it. Like a smoothing base coat. Okay. If we add a glossy taco, will it dry faster? Well, I don't think we're going to be adding any nail polish today. <laughs> Why not, Ben? <laughs> Now what? All right, so that was the lazy way with the shitty chocolate. Now do you want to do it the hard way? If you're doing it, yes. <laughs> you have to temper chocolate. So if you're ever like dipping strawberries in chocolate or you know making sort of candy chocolate, uh, there's a special way of heating up chocolate and cooling it where you bring it up to a specific temperature and then cool it in a certain way. And that- So is it like the same way you make maple taffy? No. This is a tricky thing to do. You have to be careful. Don't make excuses need, for like, yourself. Not... Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Treats. The cats are gonna Treats. think it's good. Treats. Give me some. Okay, so let's it say that. It really looks like dog food. <laughs> and what you use is a double boiler. So essentially you boil water and then you put your metal bowl on top of it. Christmas crossing. Mm -hmm. Christmas is canceled. Now we have to let it melt over the hot water. Why don't we just put it in the microwave? So apparently you can temper chocolate in the microwave, but if your chocolate- But will... we want to be stuck up about it. <gasps> I'm melting. Oh, I'm melting and I'm melting. <laughs> What's wrong 
wrong with you. Yo, I'm a chocoholic. That's a great name for a nail polish, a chocoholic. It's copyright now. <laughs> As you see, we're measuring very carefully here. So let's put our thermometer in here. Quick, check its temperature, make sure it doesn't have COVID. <laughs> so we're at 97 Fahrenheit. So we're Almost aiming- Almost 98 degrees. <laughs> All right, we're getting hot quickly, okay. Sorry, so it's my fault. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Hopefully we didn't heat it too much. It's a little smooth. We may have gone a little too far. But why'd you do that? <laughs> this could take a while to cool, by the way. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make some tea. <laughs> Boil your water, pick your milk. We're using oat milk. Pour your milk into this little milk frother thing. Honestly, one of the best investments of this year. And froth. Look at the milk go. Whee! Fill up half your teacup with hot water, just half. Let it steep for five minutes. The world is gonna be okay. And other steep thoughts. Et voila. And just like a barista, you have the most beautiful tea latte to ever exist. <laughs> oh my God, we're fogging up. Mm. It's so good, you wanna try? Oh, sorry, you're busy. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> what do you what need? Do we do? This isn't a tutorial. Can I lick my finger? You don't listen to any good podcasts lately? Simply Podlogical? I've been listening a lot to uh, Laura DIY. It has a new podcast. It's called Craft Girl. You have, have yeah. you? Her and her boyfriend Chad have this podcast where they talk about. You I don't know. think his name is Chad. <laughs> I think I need to make another <laughs> cup of tea for you, Ben. Could you get a butter knife? What's a, a you mean a knife? No, a butter knife. <laughs> what do you mean, what's a butter knife? A knife from the knife drawer, right? So you want so chocolate don't... on the knife. Just on, yeah, that's enough, that's enough. Put it on the tin foil. Like that? Yeah, and put it in the fridge. Do I wrap it? No, just put it like that. Oh, this is weird. You're just kidding. <laughs> Why are we putting a knife in the fridge, Ben? Okay, now put the toaster in the microwave. What? You're like sweating, sweetie. I've been stirring for like 20 minutes. Ben! All right, the knife has been in the fridge for a minute and it didn't hurt anyone. <laughs> so the chocolate should be like bendy and snappy. Bendy and snappy? What, like legally blonde? So here, That's like just, I'm not sure about the knife because it looks kind of shiny, but at the same time, it, it kind of seems like it's just a smudging. Hey cats, keep up the good work. Not paying rent, doing absolutely nothing. So what are you gonna get me for Christmas? <laughs> Oh, we agreed Christmas is canceled this year. Good, that was just a test question. <laughs> you passed. <laughs> yeah, we've decided this year that Christmas is just gonna be Ben and I and the cats mm -hmm. and uh, maybe some hollow chocolate. We'll see if that lasts or works. <laughs> no presents because all we need is each other. Aww. Cheers. <laughs> I can really see why people, like normal people, don't do this. <laughs> normal people. Yeah, we're, you're a normal person. This takes person. way too long and I'm just watching you. So here's our test sample of this chocolate. It's just like Lindor. Peel it off. Peel it off, <laughs> like, like a peely base coat. It's wow. no good, it's no good. That's a nice peely though. But look, it's, it's floppy. We don't want a floppy chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> you want a hard chocolate. You want a hard chocolate, it should snap. I think we heated it too much at the beginning. So what do we do? So this chocolate's no good, we're gonna have to start again. This, all of this, the last like 20 minutes you spent stirring us is for nothing. I should be upset about this, not you. Yeah! <laughs> I mean, you can still use this just to drizzle over whatever you want and make it taste good. <laughs> All right. Hey, you want some dinner tonight? I got a special sauce. <laughs> but this was the compound chocolate. It seems like it's set. Take that piece off. <gasps> no, no, that's still just the film. Oh. <laughs> Here's the moment of truth. You gotta peel it off like a nail vinyl. 
to the... Nothing. <laughs> then... Why is there no hole? <laughs> I thought you said this was gonna work! Y'all should have tempered your expectations for the outcome of this video. Yeah, what's wrong with you? Thought yeah, we'd you thought we'd pull this up? We still have a bunch of this compound chocolate left. I just melted it again. I guess we're experimenting. Does the side of the diffraction grating you put the chocolate on matter? That's how nail foils work though. I don't know, just it could possibly be a theory. <laughs> so cut that one in half and then flip one side exactly. over. So we have both sides. Yes. So we can rule out whether or not it's that causing the lack of hollow. It's gotta get into the groove of hollow. You know, it's not for everyone, but if you just warm up to hollow a little bit, you're gonna love it. That's what I tell my customers. <laughs> Let's try this one more time. Back in the fridge. What I don't understand is even if this were to work and make the chocolate hollow, uh -huh. how is it edible? Like you can't eat hollow. <laughs> yeah, so, that's been established. We've in learned this, this on this channel already. Brown cow, please notice me. So why would you be able to eat something that is hollow? But think it's just like a mold. You know when you buy like a silicone bunny mold, and you pour chocolate in it. You put the chocolate in there, and it pops out of the mold. But this isn't a mold. Like this, this is a mold just on a micro. Like there's lines in the sheet that are two microns apart. Like you can't see them with your eyes. Well, I can see the rainbows. <laughs> Yo, I'm not trying to be dumb, I'm serious. Like, <laughs> it's just hard to understand. Parts of this piece of paper transfer onto the chocolate and yet it's still edible. Okay. Even though this paper isn't edible. Like, you can't eat this, right? Okay, well- Do you, you see where I'm coming from? You can ask a physician if you can eat that and you a can physician. ask the physics <laughs> ask, girl. Ask your doctor if you can eat. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? Okay, now peel it, peel it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Nothing. No! Okay, that didn't work. Okay. Here's our last chance. 50-50 chance. <laughs> you have to peel it slowly, I think. There! Some of it worked! What? What? We got a tiny piece of hollow chocolate. We also have a menchie here. I mean, it worked on part of it. Why did it only transfer this, right? I can think of a few reasons why. One of them is we're not chocolate uh, connoisseurs or um, what's the, the professional word? Chocolatiers. We're not chocolatiers. <laughs> I'm so happy that you gave me a box of chocolates. Mercy. I'd like to thank you and thank you means mercy. Mercy for being you. you. We're hollow experts here, not chocolate experts. That first one was much shinier too, eh? Yeah, we probably just put it on the wrong side. Okay, we have to do it again. <laughs> Re fresh, fresh shitty chocolate nibs and we'll do it, okay? Let's go. go. Benji, we figured it out. Attempt number four. I think we figured out which side of the film it should be on and we've reheated some fresh uh, shitty chocolate. This better work. Get in the hall. Listen to me. And now. Cue the cat clock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moment of truth. Open for a Christmas miracle here. So flippity flip. What if it worked in just that section? Why? It's like bubbling. It's an air bubble. I guess it's too warm and it's. No, no, no it's growing. Wait, is this good or bad? That it's growing. Should I just what peel? if you should leave it and it spreads? <laughs> That's not how this. <laughs> <laughs> it's only spread. Let it. Let it do whatever it's doing. It's working, Ben. It's working. This has to infect the chocolate with hollow. Why is it doing this? I don't know. I think we've discovered a new science. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I, I can't explain the magic of hollow. Look, see, it's. Bam! You gotta rub the hollow in, it's like a genie. Now we're imprinting on the hollow. I mean, I kind of prefer it this way because it feels like I have the magic power. <laughs> Everything I touch turns to hollow. <laughs> Here, hold this. Let me work. It's just like a nail foil because you have to press it with a certain amount of pressure no, and get it to like stick. it's not like a nail foil but like, it's not transferring I mean, anything. You keep saying that, but it's behaving <laughs> exactly like a nail foil. All right, you can do the peel. Maybe you'll have better luck than me. <gasps> oh, oh no. 
<laughs> oh my god, it's so. <laughs> Yo, it worked. It actually worked. But you know what worked? What? My touch. <laughs> my fingers. Okay, I'm gonna pick this up. We're all gonna say, Christine the Hollow Queen. Christine the Hollow Queen. Even though we slid it onto the film, we put it in the fridge, let it sit for a few minutes, the hollow only transferred or not transferred, whatever. <laughs> Once the air bubbles started to like push it off, push the hollow off onto the chocolate. I mean, we did it. We just did it, it with alternative methods, which was me just adding my magic touch. <laughs> At the end of the day, we have the money shot. At the end of the day, you're just glad you have me. You can finally tell us what hollow tastes like. <laughs> la, 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 la. Tastes like rainbows. <laughs> it still tastes like crappy Easter chocolate. Who wants a piece? Can I try some? Wait, we gotta get the good angle. Yeah. Okay, now eat. Open your mouth with the hollow and the rainbows come out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe for a piece of your own. All right, everybody. Hope you're having a good December, you know, doing holiday activities at home. <laughs> it's family fun. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see y'all later. Bye.